Apple has recently unveiled its latest addition to the smartwatch lineup, the Apple Watch Series 9. This release brings a long-awaited chip upgrade, marking the first significant performance boost in nearly three years. But the excitement doesn't end there. Apple also surprised us with the introduction of the Apple Watch Ultra 2, featuring the same powerful chip and a few unexpected changes. With these new Apple Watches boasting the faster S9 chip, the question arises, are they the right choice for you? Or should you still consider the more budget-friendly Apple Watch SE, which was my top recommendation last year? Don't worry, in this video, we'll not only explore all the new features of the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2, but also revisit the Apple Watch SE to help you decide which one suits your needs. Let's start by looking at the overall lineup. We have the Series 9 starting at $399, the Apple Watch Ultra 2 at $799, and the trusty old Apple Watch SE still available at $249. Later in the video, we'll delve into pricing and cellular configurations, but for now, focus on their design differences. The SE retains the oldest design among them, with a smaller 40 and 44 millimeter display and larger bezels. In contrast, the Series 9 eliminates these larger bezels, offering a more edge-to-edge -edge screen experience with 41 and 45 millimeter sizing. Now, you might assume that the Ultra 2, sized at 49 millimeters, boasts a significantly larger display. However, when you compare them on Apple's website, you'll notice that the usable screen area isn't substantially different from the Series 9. Display size is just the tip of the iceberg. These Apple Watches come with distinct display specifications. The SE, unfortunately, features the weakest display, lacking an always-on option and maxing out at 1,000 nits of brightness. It also lacks certain software features found on larger displays, such as a native keyboard. The Series 9 represents a substantial leap from the SE and older Series 8 displays. It achieves up to two times brightness at 2,000 nits, surpassing the previous max brightness of the Apple Watch Ultra 1. The Apple Watch Ultra 2, however, takes display brightness to a whole new level, boasting an eye-searing 3,000 nits of max brightness. Apple claims it's their brightest display ever, which can be quite impressive outdoors and perhaps blinding for unwelcome intruders. Battery life plays a pivotal role when choosing a smartwatch. While both the SE and Series 9 are initially rated at 18 hours of battery life, history tells us that Apple often underestimates the battery improvements. With the Series 9's more efficient S9 chip compared to the S8's process, we can expect a battery life boost, even with the brighter display. Additionally, the Series 9 and Ultra 2 can dim to just one nit of brightness in dark environments, helping conserve power. So don't be misled by identical battery life ratings. The Series 9 is likely to outperform the SE in this regard. For those craving ultimate battery life, the Apple Watch Ultra 2 takes the crown with double the battery life rated at a remarkable 36 hours. Fast charging is another consideration, with the SE lacking this feature. Both the Series 9 and Ultra 2 support fast charging when using a USB-C to Apple Watch charging cable. Now let's talk about the S9 chip. It not only promises efficiency, but also brings a significant performance boost marking the first speed improvement in the Apple Watch lineup in three years. Although Apple hasn't provided specific numbers, they mentioned a 30% performance jump in the GPU, promising smoother animations and navigation within WatchOS 10. While it's hard to gauge the exact impact of this performance boost without hands-on experience, it should be noticeable, especially considering the wait for such an upgrade. If you're torn between the SE and Series 9, Keep in mind that the SE still utilizes the older S8 chip, which is now three years old. Furthermore, the Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2 come with exclusive features enabled by the S9 chip. These include on-device Siri for faster responses and a new ultra-wideband chip for improved precision. The S9 chip also allows your watch to identify what's playing on your HomePod when brought close to it. Additionally, it introduces a double-tap gesture activated by pinching your thumb and index finger together twice, providing a handy way to navigate the interface when your other hand is occupied. Despite being pitched as new, this gesture already exists on Series 4 and newer Apple Watch models under the name Assistive Touch, hidden in the accessibility menu. While the S9 chip likely enhances its speed and responsiveness, this feature is not entirely exclusive to the S9. Another notable upgrade bundled with the Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2 
is increased storage capacity. Last year's models featured 32 gigabytes of storage, whereas this year, the Series 9 and Ultra 2 come with a generous 64 gigabytes of storage. This expansion is particularly useful for storing music, podcasts, and audiobooks directly on your watch. When it comes to health features, the Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2 offer identical capabilities, including a heart sensor, temperature sensor, blood oxygen sensor, and an EKG on your wrist. In contrast, the SE lacks these advanced sensors, featuring an older generation heart sensor. While the SE remains suitable for most users, those concerned about health and conditions like irregular heartbeats may find the additional sensors on the Series 9 and Ultra 2 beneficial. Throughout this video, I frequently compared the Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2 as they share many features. However, let's briefly explore their differences. The most apparent distinction lies in their design. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 stands out with its unique appearance and exclusive features, like the action button for quick commands and a loud siren for emergencies. On the downside, the Ultra 2 is bulkier, which may require an adjustment period, especially for those with smaller wrists. Nevertheless, its multi-day battery life makes it a compelling choice for those who value extended usage between charges. The Apple Watch Ultra 2 stands out with its unique appearance and exclusive features. The Ultra 2 also boasts a more durable design, thanks to its titanium body and sapphire display. This combination has proven resilient to scratches and impacts in real-world scenarios. Additionally, the Ultra 2 offers precision GPS for outdoor activities, workout tracking, a depth gauge with water temperature sensing, and can withstand depths of up to 100 meters underwater. While these features are niche, and may not be necessary for most users, they cater to outdoor enthusiasts and adventurers. In summary, the Series 9 emerges as the default choice for many users, offering a balanced set of features, a performance boost, and an improved display. While it starts at $399, keep in mind that you can opt for a larger size or cellular connectivity at additional costs. The Apple Watch SE, priced at $249, remains a solid option for those new to the Apple Watch ecosystem. Its affordability and optional cellular capability make it a suitable entry point. The Apple Watch Ultra 2, priced at $799. Those seeking an extended battery life and unique features like the action button and siren. It also boasts a durable design with titanium and sapphire, making it suitable for outdoor and adventurous activities. For potential buyers of the Series 9 or Ultra 2, it's essential to consider the added cost of larger sizes and cellular connectivity, as well as ongoing carrier fees for cellular use. These factors can significantly impact the overall price. If you're concerned about display durability and scratches, opting for an Apple Watch with a Sapphire display is a wise choice, as it provides enhanced scratch resistance. For existing Apple Watch owners, the decision to upgrade largely depends on your current model. If you own a Series 8 or Apple Watch Ultra 1, there might not be enough compelling reasons to upgrade. However, if you're using an older model, like a Series 5 or earlier, or even a Series 6, the Series 9's performance improvements and other enhancements make it a worthy consideration. In summary, the choice among these Apple Watches boils down to your specific needs and preferences. The Series 9 is the well-rounded option, the SE remains budget-friendly, and the Ultra 2 caters to those seeking exceptional battery life and unique features. As technology evolves, it's crucial to assess your requirements and make an informed decision based on your usage patterns and priorities. As always, I hope you found this extended analysis informative. If you did, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for a comprehensive review in the coming weeks and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback is invaluable as we explore the world of smartwatches and tech. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.